بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على سيدنا محمد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome back to our explanation of al-waraqat Reach now the section on al-mubayyin, the clarifiers And there's some difference of opinion about this word What it means within the context of usul fiqh Does it mean the action of clarifying? Does it mean dalil or does it mean madlul? And therefore you find some criticism of what Imam al-Haramin does and his his description of it, but just FYI, right? Just have that in your mind. Imam al-Haramin says, Rahimahullah wal bayanu ikhraj, ikhraj from kharaj, ikhraj to push something out, to evict a shay, to evict something, min hayz al-ishkal, from a state of confusion, ila hayz al to a state of clarity. Hadha wal bayan. Famubayyin is a loft it's going to take the mujmal from a state of ishkal to a state of clarity. In relationship to what it signifies. What we want to talk about now, though, are like what are the different types of clarifiers. We're going to mention just a few of them. Number one is al bayanu bil qawl. That a clarifier can be through a statement, whether from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So we go back to Surah Baqarah. When they said to Sayyidina Musa, Ud'u lana rabbaka yubayyilana mahi, ask Allah to you clarify for, for us what it is. Then later on it says, Baqaratu, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Baqaratu safra ufaqi'u lawnuha tasuru nadiri. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, this kind of baqara, this color, this hue, which makes people happy when they see it. Here you notice something very interesting in the verse, Baqaratu safra faqi'u lawnuha tasuru nadiri. Three parts to the description because when you teach people, when you teach people, you better make sure that you make it very clear for them. Prophet's job is to make things clear. Here we say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There's no excuse, man. This is called itnab and balagha, embellishment. Because the bayan here needed to be embellished. They needed to understand. Not always. But sometimes, here we can appreciate something. People involved in da'wah and who haven't studied usul fiqh and they're out here trying to clarify things for people. Are they actually following this system or just on their hawa? SubhanAllah, there's a lot to learn, man. A lot to learn out there. Also, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam, he clarified certain things which are mujmal with his words. Sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Like so many, Imam al-Shafi mentions like a large number of them in the Risala. The second, al-bayanu bil-fi'il. So al-bayanu bil-qawl, yani bi-qawli lahi wa qawli rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Al-thani, al-bayanu bil-qawl. The second is clarification with actions. It's related to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa-aqimu salah how do you pray? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, wa lillahi ala nasi hajjul bayt. Hajj or hijjul bayt to qira'ah. Hajj is fard. How do you how do you pray? How do you make hajj? Here we see the, 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 the complete misguidance of the submitters group. They have no idea what they're talking about. The complete misguidance of the Ahmadi is a complete misguidance misguidance of the NOI. Who are who who really locate the role of the Prophet in a way which desanitizes and desacretizes him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Tharsan, the Prophet to us is something sacred. His role is sacred. Alayhi salatu salam. So, 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 so defile it, excuse me, is a better word. Because they say, the, the submitters, we don't, need the, we don't need the sunnah. We just need the Qur'an. In, in the same asanid of the Qur'an, you find in the hadith. So how do you accept the asanid of the Qur'an? You don't accept the asanid of, asanid of hadith. You see the contradiction here. Not in all, but in many. Sometimes they'll say, but Hafs, he was weak in hadith. Yeah, he may have been weak in hadith. In certain instances, but he wasn't weak in Quran. Just because someone is weak in one science doesn't mean they're weak in another, but he wasn't weak, for example, say the Imam Hafs, because of his character, but because of his academic qualifications in narrating hadith. It's very different. So he's someone who is honest and has integrity, it's just not his thing. Pay attention, don't get caught up in this fitna, man. People I hear talking about stuff, they have no idea what they're talking about, and they unravel the deen like they unravel their shoes will unravel a present and people will be lost. You have to be very careful, man. Always push in. Always push in. And think deeper. So the submitters, completely misguided people. Um, 
same thing with the Ahmadi movement, same thing with Inouye, in the sense of their aqidah. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran, there's numerous verses which are mujmala, and they are clarified by, by the actions of Sayyidina Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Like as like Hajj. Sallu kama ra'aytumuni asalli, pray like you see me pray. Khudu anni manasikakum, take from me the rights of Hajj. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The third, al bayan bil qawli wal fi'l, aw bil qawlaini wa fi'laini, aw akthar. The clarification happens with an action or a word or multiple actions or multiple words. We say about the first is mubayyin, the second is mu'akid, tawkidan. So the first is the clarifier, the rest are just to emphasize what needs to be clarified. We have texts like that related to the hajj and umrah. Barakallahu feekum wa jazakumullah khair. Next time we're going to start to talk about a, a few of the axioms related to this idea that are not mentioned in the text of Imam al harami that are very important in da'wah in Muslim thought. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.